So hello and welcome back to another episode of Cheap Truck Heavy Trailer. Today you join me in a bright red Renault Magnum hauling a 70 ton heat exchanger. Now this Magnum has got a 440 horsepower engine, 2200 newton meters of torque, a 6 speed manual gearbox and no retarder. So this is going to be pretty interesting. One thing to note, we've also got a 4x2 chassis not a 6x4 or anything which would be more useful because we've got to be really careful of uh, jackknifing um, this due to all the weight on that single axle at the back uh, on the inside this reset track IR as you can see we do have the escort vehicles today uh, which would be very useful um, because we've got a 250 mile drive from Nantes which is where we are now down to Civo I believe you say it like that um, so yeah 250 miles this is going to be very interesting and I think it's the longest journey uh, we have done so far in this series so yeah let's get going um, first of all I think I'm just gonna put my seat forward a little bit I don't know why they put the seat so far back in these Renaults but yeah first gear we're just about pulling away in fact, that's pulled away better than I thought it would. I'm just going to keep it on the uh, fuel readout to see how badly we do on fuel. Right, this is going to be the interesting part, getting it out of here. Because obviously it has rear steer. Um, so I've got to be careful of it sort of whacking out into the side. But I've also got to be careful about... I see that's too close. That's too close. So if I just reverse it over here again, I need to come at a much wider angle. Just put on the brakes there. That front mirror is really useful. Just hit, I think I've got on the curb. It does that in this game. When you go on the curb at a weird angle, it sort of freaks it out. I think that's coming around now. I've got to sort of do it very straight. Is, how are you meant to get out of here without hitting anything? I don't get it. Right, now I'm going to reverse sort of straight back, which I think will be useful for me to just see what I'm doing. Um, just checking I haven't damaged anything then. Holding the traffic up a bit. Let's put the beacons on. I think they're working. Now, am I going to sort of whack out the side of that? I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. Look how far it's sort of bringing the front of the truck up. Now, this is why I hate rear steer. Because it would be so much easier, honestly, if it didn't have it. Because you just end up whacking the back of the trailer into things that you just wouldn't expect. I mean, this is just pulling out. I haven't even gone anywhere yet. Right, let's try and move it over this side a bit more. Nope. What's that now? Oh, look at that. The slight back edge of that trailer. Oh, that's stalled. Okay. So it sort of edges forward and then nothing happens. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. We got it, we got it. Now what? So it's stuck on something else now. Oh my gosh.
come on. Still 0%. We're close to jackknifing here. We were really close to jackknifing then. Wow, look, see how it sort of pans across the road. Look at that, it's still not moved over. I sometimes really hate rear steer. I just wish he could just turn it off. Because as I said, we've we've hardly gone anywhere. We just started there and already. It almost ended our journey there. But this Renault won't stop. Be stopped that easily. A lot of people don't like these uh, Renault Magnums and Renault trucks in general. But I do, I really do like them. I think it's due to uh, squirrels streams that people have got something against them. But I think they're quite cool. I think the Magnum especially it does look like a American cab over but with a European twist. I think it's kind of cool. I wish they did sort of a modern day version. Because uh, I think the Renault Range T is sort of a, an updated Renault Premium, let's say. But there isn't anything that directly replaces this one. Oh, you see that? I need to turn the diff lock off. There we go. See, all the buttons are animated and stuff. This is the sort of standard SCS version. It's close to hitting that sign. They don't make this easy, do they? you got to sort of take it a straight because if you don't the trailer just pans across the road look at that look at that it's just where's the benefit I, I don't know I don't can't really see the benefit of having a trailer that's rear steer is that sort of aggressive I don't mind it when it slightly steers but you could see the lock that this um, trailer gets and it's just horrible I mean you just can't plan what you're gonna do around this corner because it's hard so hard to judge the um, trailers reaction especially if you're not used to driving trailers this long I think it's one of the longest out of the uh, special transport want to get onto the main road it's just these tiny French uh, sort of streets that are becoming a real pain for this trailer but here we go onto the A83 let's build up some speed I think it limits us to 60 kph or 37 miles an hour so we just try to keep to that oh hang on Hang on, this is... Whoa! <laughs> the horn's pretty pathetic. I hate when they do that. Why did... The point of having these escort vehicles is to make our life easier, but you just brake tested me. Imagine the momentum this truck would have. I don't know how, how, how heavy the truck is. Maybe... Five tons? Maybe? I don't know. So... 75 tons this truck's brakes are gonna put to a stop in the wet come on up the hill we go I think the Renault premium has a lowered powered um, version of this engine I think it goes down to 370 horsepower now obviously this has got 440 so a little bit more power and it, it does have a decent amount of torque 2200 I mean this is the basic engine I think it goes up to around 520 horsepower if you want a more powerful version but this is actually pulling pretty well to be honest for a 70 ton trailer you just got to get your gears right and this is a six speed don't forget which makes it even more challenging because we got less uh, sort of gears to play with especially if we come to a stop on a hill that's when it's going to become a real pain look how wide it made to make those turns there I love how big the wings, windscreen is as well you get a really good uh, sense of space with this thing right breathe in breathe in there we go 
It's not as bad as the uh, last week's episode with the Volvo F88 when we had no escort vehicles and we were travelling down a sort of single carriageway like this but with uh, bars either side of the road. The AI wasn't moving over and we just had nowhere to go. We just had to drag the trailer along the barrier or as close as we could get to the barrier. Um, and try and avoid the cars, some were hit, some magically got through, but that was probably one of the most challenging parts of this series so far, so definitely go and have a look at that video after you've watched this one, because that was a very interesting journey. Right, we need to keep close to this roundabout, so the trailer sort of follows it around like that, as you can see, so we don't... Whoa, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Yep, I didn't see that exit. But yeah, if, if we went wide around there, I think it would have hit that police car. And, um, I don't know what happens if you hit the police car when you're on one of these journeys. I know when you hit the escort vehicles, you get um, the job sort of cancelled immediately. Uh, but as I said, I'm not sure if you hit a police car if it does the same. So yeah. Anyway, I didn't want to hit a police car. We're still on 0% damage, which is... I don't know. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that for the rest of the journey, but I am going to try. Try my best to do that. I don't think this rain's going to stop, is it? I mean, the wipers are pretty good at clearing this massive windscreen. I mean, the view that you get out is really good. The windows are so high and everything. You feel tiny inside this truck. Which is kind of a cool sensation. So you've just got to be so careful. I mean, look how wide this trailer is. If I sort of move it over to the white line, it's, I don't know, it's definitely over the lane, isn't it? Stop signs don't apply to us. Well, yeah, I just thought then, if I turn in too sharply, we're going to jackknife. I think that happened on the second Cheap Truck Heavy Trader video. We sort of completed the whole journey. The escort vehicles sort of uh, split off from us when we were pulling into the depot. And I think I came in slightly too quick. I believe that was a Renault Premium as well. Uh, but yeah, we turned in slightly too quick in the sort of trailer uh, jackknifed and that was with a 4x2 as well so yeah you definitely got to be careful if you're going to do one of these types of uh, journeys they are a lot of fun they're very challenging um, as you can see but yeah, you've definitely got to be careful what I found weird was getting that trailer out of that depot from the start of the video I don't see how you can do that without doing multiple attempts and probably hitting stuff I mean we kept kept hitting the uh, side of the gate on the exit I don't think it's wide enough uh, to be honest you know I pulled all the way over um, before I made the turn out of the exit and still just couldn't get it through so it's a bit weird in that sense but yeah, I think we're doing the speed limit now, so let's put it into sixth gear and let's cruise. Yeah, this rain is definitely not going to stop. I mean, we've got lightning and everything. Let's have a look from the outside. When you compare the size of the truck to the trailer, it definitely is a big, big truck, this. Right, what have we got coming up here? Oh dear, I sense trouble already. Let's put it into third. Let's keep that speed up. Else we're in trouble. Right, we're making a left here. Is that a police car? Yep. Right, I do need to move over here. Let's take it slowly so we don't jackknife. Make the turn early so the trailer doesn't fling out into any traffic. There we go. 
<laughs> no jackknives yet. Almost said one at the start, but none yet. Come on, truck. Let's keep going. It's just, how are we going to do this? Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be really tight, but... No, it's actually alright. Okay, we're making it left here. Keep it tight. Whoa, I could feel the back end going then. Right, the uh, force pe force force feedback, force feedback went uh, really light then on the steering wheel. Well, I'm just going to keep it slow down here. As I said, we have no retarder. Okay, we're good. Just trying to keep that speed, that's the challenging part of this. Keeping that speed. I think third's probably going to be the best around here. I've just got to hope there's no oncoming traffic because I want to make this turn as straight as possible. we go nailed it but yeah if any of you guys have got any suggestions about any cheap truck heavy trailer videos you want me to do please do tell me uh, for example if I review a truck on test drive Thursday and you want me to pick the lowest powered version of it and then go and do a trailer it's super heavy please do tell me in the comments of that video or uh, just email me simulatorsst at gmail.com uh, any trucks that you've seen um, truck mods that you've seen trailers that you've seen um, that would be really appreciated I think it would be kind of cool as well uh, we're coming into this little town <laughs> just imagine this one of these old French uh, houses and this massive heat exchanger comes by or by a uh, Super low powered Renault. Oh no, another roundabout. I like their roundabouts in France, don't they? Okay, we're good that side. And now let's just indicate off. Straighten it up. Just watch the inside for that sign. And we're good. So we're leaving Valais. Is that right? And back out into the French countryside. That is currently soaking wet. Come on. I'm struggling up this little hill. Oh yeah, we're really struggling. I think I'm going to change around 2000. Seems to be happy around there. Oh, I think the uh, rain's beginning to stop. Let's put it down onto intermediate wipers. Yeah, look at this. Alright, so yeah, the rain has definitely stopped now. Just getting the last of the sun. It's around 6pm. Oh dear. Oh, I thought he was just going to ram that guy then. Jeez, the truck had to react. You know, this little lake. I mean, look at the water reflections. They look so good now, don't they? Let's get back out. Alright, so we're turning right here. Is this a roundabout? No, it's just a crossroads. Let's slow it down. Let's not jackknife into second. Try and do it around 15 miles an hour. I mean, look how tightly we turn then. The trailer didn't even come close to the uh, grass. Like a rest area. Now, I've got no idea how that is reflecting off uh, the sun visor. There's no hole in the cabin, so that's a bit unusual. But yeah, I've also been thinking um, 
obviously I'm going to do a well not obviously but I'm going to do a subscriber convoy uh, probably within the next week or so and last time we did one we did a sort of cheap truck heavy trailer special where I got everyone to not get one of these special transports because they don't work in multiplayer but get the heaviest trailer that they could uh, with the um, sort of a low powered truck uh, so we had a lot of Scania uh, 370s we had some Renault 370s I believe what was it Renault have they got 380 horsepower I think that's right um, is he going to wait there? Yeah, so I was thinking maybe doing something like that again. Um, but do it maybe with double trailers. But then again, I thought with double trailers, isn't that only in uh, Scandinavia? So some people may not be able to join. So yeah, please do let me know um, your thoughts on that. So I am sort of planning it at the moment, or about to plan it. I want to get as many people on there as possible. Last time we did it, we had a lot of people turn up in sort of high-powered trucks with just normal trailers, which was a bit annoying, to be honest, after I made that video and the uh, ETS2 Convoy's description talking about how you must come in that um, setup, or else it just ruins the whole event. Uh, so, yeah, it's a bit annoying when people don't listen, but, yeah, hopefully we will do another one soon. Look at them. I'm going to selfie with the horse. Pretty, uh, pretty normal. All right, let's turn right. Slow it down into third, into second. Look at that sunset, that's pretty nice. I am using a weather mod, if you're wondering. Uh, I can't quite remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it's, I, I'd say it's a definite improvement in some areas. Um, what I mean by that, for example, the skybox, it isn't that high res, is it? Uh, I mean, look at that where you can see the clouds. Uh, the sunrises are pretty good. Uh, sunsets are fairly good, as you can see. Uh, I do think it improves the sort of general visuals, like it's not sort of cartoony. But again, if you've got any suggestions for weather mods, please do let me know, because I'm always looking to improve my experience in the game. Right, this is tight. Oh dear, that was close. Um, so yeah, please do let me know. Right, so we've covered 130 miles at the minute. We've got 120 to go. Still following that guy in front. Doesn't look like he's got his lights on as well. It's a bit unusual. Yeah, just trying to make progress. I mean, 37 limit is fairly slow. So these 250 miles really don't get covered very quickly. Just revving it out. We're still also waiting on the uh, special transport for America, uh, an American truck sim, which is a bit unusual really. I don't understand what's taken them so long to do that. I mean, surely these AI routes aren't too difficult to implement if they've done so many in this game already, so yeah, I'm still waiting on that. I did a... American truck sim cheap truck heavy trailer video a while back, but that was just with a general heavy trailer without the escort vehicles. Uh, so, yeah, I am still waiting on that, and it'd be pretty cool when they do actually release it. Give us more routes to uh, do probably bigger trailers because they'll be able to do that in American truck sim uh, due to the wider roads. I mean, it makes it more difficult. Oh, look at that! We ran a magnum red as well like mine um, obviously it does make it more difficult with little villages like this that you've got to go through but in America just imagine how big we could have the trailers again with the existing um, sort of delivery 
locations it would be difficult but I'm sure they could work around that somewhere and we're also still waiting on the ability for uh, I don't know if this has been enabled yet but the ability for map makers to uh, make their own like imagine them in pro mod some of the scenery it would be amazing driving through the Pyrenees or Alps with uh, <laughs> one of these you definitely have to have a high powered truck but it'd be very fun alright come on dude why is he not speeding up I mean look at him in the front mirror there what's he doing 37 on here if he brake tests me now that's the whole journey over what's he doing I mean look at <laughs> this is just me this is mental. Right, I'm getting a bit close. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like that. He's backing off a bit. I don't know what he's doing though. I mean, look at him. I'd be a bit more worried if I had 75 tons of uncontrollable <laughs> truck and trailer behind me. Still not speeding up. What's he doing? Over a bit of a hill now. Even the police have to stop for us. Like royalty. Honestly, he's doing around 28 miles an hour, maybe. Let's put the cruise on. Yeah, so he's doing around 20. Well, he's slowing down. Look how close we're getting. He hasn't been very useful. On this journey, has he? He's just held us up everywhere. He brake tested us at the start, and now he's just driving under the speed limit. Nope. Red light, but that doesn't matter for us. We just go straight through them. Right, so for where are we going? It's all good. Come on, little Renault. Building up that speed. Yeah, sunset now, so it's currently 9 pm. Probably going to get there around 10, I'm guessing. Just got to keep going with this thing. Oh, he's sped up now, which is a good thing, and he's turned his lights on. So we should be good for the next few miles. Okay, so we're on to the last round, 30 miles. It's gone completely dark now, it's 10pm. So we haven't been going as quick as I thought we would have, but at least this guy's not doing 30 anymore. Just catching up with him. I mean, all that momentum, I'm not even touching the accelerator. Even if you change it down a gear. You don't, you don't get much effects of uh, engine braking at all. Right then, so looks like we're getting left up ahead, so I'm just going to move back a bit. Switch our coach, there we go. Oh, it's a roundabout, oh, this is going to be challenging at night. lights sort of don't really help at all it's like a disco right we're around there it's all right so we've got about 20 miles come on let's get moving really can't see a thing his, his sort of headlights are terrible you can see the destination on the map Keep moving up through some of this sort of woodland now. Here it is, Civil Chivel. Or is that hair? 
Sivo, I think. Right, down again. Come on, we're struggling now. Don't lose it now. There we go. Look at that. Massive power station. Is that where we're going? Is that one of the nuclear power plants? I'm not sure. Right, yeah, I think that's where we're going. So the massive heat exchange is going to be used in this power plant. Nucleon. Oh! Is that me or did the escort vehicle just vanish? That was weird. You would have thought they would have ironed that bug out. But yeah, here we are. Just rolling it in now. It's a fairly easy drop off. Cool if we got to drive it in, sort of through there or something. And there we go. Somehow we made that. So let's just unload it. Excellent. 247 miles, 294 litres burnt. So there we go. If you enjoyed that video, please do give me a like, subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.